What's happening, everybody? So, we're going to do a little spot market money. I haven't done that in a while. What's up, TJ Jones? Go the woods. What's happening? So, we're going to do that this morning. Uh, talk a little bit about um, Amazon's solution to delivery driver shortage. Everybody read the news on Amazon's um Amazon's response to how to fix their driver shortage? Anybody guess what their response is without Googling it? <laughs> Unbelievable, folks. Unbelievable. Anyway, we'll, we'll talk a little bit about that. Um, what's up, Sean? We're doing good. Thomas Wilson? Kentwood, Michigan, why don't you come on over here and put your truck on here in Kentwood, Michigan. Put an ELD in it today. Got one right up there on the shelf. Go get a trailer right up the street. Um, no freight shaker, classic XL. Um, we'll show the map here first. Uh, we'll get it on that screen. This is the van density map on the 123 load board. Of course, if you want this load board, that discounted price, there it is on the bottom. We all know that. Um, van is looking a little light, a little light, but it is after the holiday, so it's going to be a little light. If you're still in the heart of, of the country right here, you, you're going to do well. Um, it is looking good in Colorado, Utah, Oregon, Washington, so it's looking really good, actually, but it's just the south that has a little pullback. But by Thursday, Friday, this will probably be mostly green again. Um, so to get into the Amazon thing, let me click here. Here is their, look, here is their <laughs> response to how to fix the driver shortage for them. They're going to recruit pot smokers. They're going to recruit pot smokers. What is the implication of that if one of them gets in an accident? Uh, I, of course, Amazon has tons of money. So, you know, if they want to pay $100 million lawsuits and all that good stuff, so be it. But it won't take very many of those before then, right? Um, he says the solution for a potentially crippling shortage of delivery drivers recruit pot smokers. Uh, the company's advertising its delivery partners. The mom and pops operate, you know, the little blue vans, right? Uh, to approximately advertise that they don't drug screen applicants for marijuana use, according to correspondence reviewed by Bloomberg and interview. Of with the four business owners they interviewed. So, hey, you know, we're, you know, Amazon, we're not going to require you because, you know, you're, you're your own. See, this is where it gets really technical, right? Uh, you have your own little vans. You know, we're not going to require you to drug test these folks. And therefore, you will get all kinds of people to be able to drive your van. Well, the business owners that do that, are stupid. If they do that, they're stupid. They're opening themselves up to a huge risk. Huge risk. Huge. Um, so it goes on to say that uh, doing so can boost the number of job applicants by as much as 400%, Amazon says in one message, without explaining how, to, how they came up with that statistic, because it's Amazon, so, you know, they go to the moon, you know, they go to space, whatever. They just make up stuff. Uh, conversely, the company says screening for marijuana cuts the prospective worker pool by up to 30%. One delivery partner who stopped screening applicants at Amazon's behest uh, says marijuana was the prevailing reason most people failed drug tests. Now that she's only testing for drugs like opiates and am am amphetamines, right? More drivers pass. But they still don't get it, do they, folks? They still don't get it. Marijuana is not legal. It's not legal in the United States. People say, oh, yes, it is. It's legal in Colorado. It's legal in Michigan. State laws, they make it legal. But federally, it's not. It's not. There's a difference. Federally, it's not. So what do you think is going to happen if one of these drivers 
let's say, you know, God forbid they they take out a family in their little van, trying to get that, you know, little package there. What do you think is going to happen? You know? That's right, Frank Chair Class. It's federally that matters. See, that's why I tell these people in Michigan, they say, oh, yeah, well, it's legal. No, it's not. If a federal agent comes up to you and, and you're, he could, you get arrested. Even though you're in Michigan, it's, it's legal by the state. It's not legal federally. They just don't have the time. You know, this country's all messed up. They don't have the time to, to do anything about it anyway. That the wastes the resources. So that's why no one's even, it doesn't matter. But when you're talking driving, now that's a commercial vehicle. Might not be a semi truck, but it's a commercial vehicle. It has to have commercial plates. It's out there. It's delivering packages. What do you think would happen? A flipping lawyer will have a field day. Because now you're, you know, somebody gets an accident, even though it's a mom and pop, you know, delivery outfit that's contracted onto Amazon, doesn't matter. Amazon's the parent company. Just like if you're an independent contractor leased onto Swift, Schneider, you know, whoever, FedEx Ground. Parent company is the big guy with all the pockets. And if you, and what they don't understand is, if you're not empty, and you get an accident, it's that carrier that has to cover you. It's the carrier that covers you. For example, if you're in your truck, if Thomas Wilson, let's say he works for XYZ, he's got his truck, trailer. If he's empty, and gets an, gets an offender bender, his physical damage insurance and stuff will cover his truck. The company he's leased on to, nothing happens. They, they don't use their insurance. But if he has one piece of freight in there, and he does the same thing, and gets in an accident, now his insurance company can cover nothing. The carrier's insurance got to cover the whole thing. Because he's laid in. That's how the insurance game works. That's the difference. So, their Amazon's you know thing to their people to get more people out there and for their little driver shortage type thing. You know why you have a driver shortage? Because the government was paying everybody to stay home. Now that that money is going away, let's see how many people cry and complain that you know they don't have no money. Well, you know what? Go out, and get out and go to work. Get out and go to work, and there you go. So still. This is the best channel out there on YouTube. I don't care what anybody says. When it comes to, you know, talking about trucking, how to build a business, knowledge, all that, is we we preach the same stuff, the same thing. You go back six years, seven years, doesn't matter. Uh, no flip-flopping. Um, so anyway, what else we got going on? Uh, you're a shortage, you can't drive your Kenworth. Let me know, Thomas. We can hook you up. We'll find somebody to drive that truck for you. We'll, we'll help your driver shortage out. Uh, and if you want us to advertise for you, saying, you know, pot smokers, well, welcome to apply. <laughs> we get <you> somebody. <laughs> Unbelievable. What the way the way the world is going. Unbelievable. Um, pretty sure your class says I've learned everything I know about running numbers uh, here, that's for sure. Like I said, we, we talk about it all. You can go back to all the schools and session videos and everything. It's all the same, cost per day, breakdown, cost per mile, uh, used trucks, new trucks, old trucks, lease trucks, lease purchase stuff. Uh, and we explain what each one is. And we, you know, it all goes by your personal preference. And then we explain the business part of it, which one's better, which one's different and so forth, right? Because not one shoe fits all. That's why it's trucking. That's why everybody does it different. And you get all kinds of opinions. We just look at the numbers. Because numbers don't lie. You can add two plus two, and you're going to get four every single time. It's just the way it is. Unless you have certain calculators. And those folks, when they add two plus two, it comes up to six or eight or 10 or 15 or 20. Um, but we don't use that calculator. We use a calibrated calculator. Um, 
Maybe Thanksgiving they come in. Well, maybe. I ran your uh, new truck numbers, new, cheaper than used at eight miles per It is, Sean. It is. See, people don't run the numbers. And they'll say, well, I can take off a month because I don't have a truck payment. You do have a truck payment. It does that that truck is paid. You have a truck payment because your truck payment is your maintenance. So basically, if you did $24,000 in maintenance in a year, then your truck payment's $2,000 a month, is it not? $24,000 in that year divided by 12 months is $2,000 a month. No matter how you slice it, yes, you don't know when your truck payment's coming. If a guy has a truck payment, pays a bank $1,500 a month, he knows every single month on the first of the month or fifth or tenth, whatever his payment is, that's his payment every single month. But if you got a used truck that's paid for and all that, and then also you get a $12,000 bill one month, and you get nothing for two more months, you get another $10,000 and so forth, at the end of the day, you could break it down and say, I averaged a $2,000 a month truck payment because you put it all in it. It's all numbers. I mean, you can spin it any way you want. Just like the Republicans, Democrats, Independents, they all spin it any way they want to get their agenda across, right? They spin it. Um, yes, Thomas Wilson is driving his motor coach. He's going to come up here. He's going camping with me. Uh, he's bringing his big old Prevost. He drives a $5 million motor coach, people. I hope you understand that. He's bringing his big old Prevost up here. Uh, we're going to go on a six-month-long vacation. Uh, minus paid for, but 24 a month goes to maintenance. Right, big face trucker, right? you got a payment. Either way, you got a payment because you got to put that money back for the repairs. Because if you're out of warranty, truck's paid for, you got to have that. Brand new LT International, 143000 out the door. I'm going to do it. Get that huge warranty, 143000 That You know what, Sean? I don't care anybody says. That sure beats a KW. $175,000, $180,000. Guess what? That 143 full warranties will do the same job as the other truck. You spend $40,000 less money. It'll pull that trailer from A to Z, just like the other one will. I'm just saying. Yes, UP with the snowmills. That's right. Get on up here, Tom. I got room in my trailer. You know, a couple more sleds will fit in there. Come on. Come on now. Bring up the big Prevost. We'll pull it behind yours. Let you drive. Uh, Brian Pitt says, uh, exactly, you have a payment one form or another. Always will have. Exactly. If you're in this business, whether you have your own authority, run or somebody else's authority, uh, you have a truck, you will always have a payment. It might not be a payment to pay for the truck, but it'll be a payment to fix the truck. You will always have an expense. That's why if you're in this business, you have a daily expense. Whether you drive or not, the money just keeps on racking up. Insurance or whatever. So guys will say, well, I don't have to have physical damage insurance because my truck's paid off. That's true. You don't have to have physical damage insurance. Truck's paid off. If you're leased on to somebody, and you, as long as, you know, once that, if you have bobtail insurance, right, you got bobtail insurance, you're good. If you're hooked up to their trailer and you're hauling the load, now you're covering their insurance for physical damage. Um, so, yeah, there's no requirements that you have to have physical damage as long as the truck's paid off. But if it's not, you're going to be required because the bank is not going to let you uh, turn the key on that truck. It's not insured. Um, Y'all take care. Going to fill up. Do you need a super chat, Thomas Wilson? Do you need a cash app? I could send you some cash app money because I know that, you know, your Prevost is going to take probably $250 or 300 bucks to fill that tank. So anybody wants to donate to Thomas's uh, diesel fund, um, let's get it on. We can donate. We can help them out. Get them across the country. Um, what else we got? Moonfleet. Well, Moonfleet, Thomas is right in your area. He can stop by. You guys can go to Talladega, watch some races. You know? 
he does that quite often. So what do you guys think about that Amazon deal? You know, what do you guys think about that? Not going to do any um, drug testing uh, and hire pot smokers. Recruit pot smokers to drive uh, delivery vans. It's advising its delivery partners. Now, what kind of what kind of legal action is this? It's right in here in writing now, so this isn't going to go away. A business is advising another business. to hire pot smokers, which isn't legal, impaired to drive delivery vans. Unbelievable. Is that unbelievable, folks? I mean, or is it just me? Uh, maybe we ought to get the safety director for like trucking on here, see what he thinks. But he's, he's probably sleeping, folks. He's probably sleeping. He works so hard, you know, he's taking an extra two hours uh, siesta. Of course, it is one hour earlier there. He's probably just getting his coffee, which, you know, he never sent me that great coffee that he always talks about. But that's for another show. All right, so let's get on to, um, let's look at some load. Right after Labor Day, I hope everybody had a great time. Stayed away from the COVID D or, you know, the Delta variant, whatever they want to call it. Hope you guys stayed away from the Dodge the Delta. Did you Dodge the Delta? Hey, maybe we'll, maybe we'll make up a bumper sticker. It says Dodge the Delta. Think that'll sell? I'll sell them. I can print them out right now. Anybody want one? Dodge the Delta. Stick it on your thing. Uh, I was thinking about using my. Uh, I mean, I don't know if guys would buy the stuff or not. I can send it to them. I was thinking about using my vinyl cutter and everything, and make up some things like you know, guys that don't like Peterbilts and guys that don't like you know, Internationals or Volvos or whatever. Uh, maybe make up some artistic. Things so you can just put the vinyl on, you know, get one of those little windows down there in the passenger door. You just put a sticker there, or just put it on the side of your truck or whatever. What do you think? All different colors. We could do that too. Oh, what's up, John Burwell? How you been, man? What you been up to? Ain't seen you in a while. Uh, I do like Amazon's day cab schedule though. They do like a four on three off, and then it swaps to, I think, either five on two off. And if you want to work more than three or four, you can. Well, I was reading the article, and most of the delivery guys, right, they get those vans and stuff. They're making 17 to 20 bucks an hour. That's their hourly wage pretty much for their long hours. You know? Um, is it worth it? Not really, but, you know. Guys just like to drive around local towns and stuff in the van. The only good thing about, you know, doing delivery vans like that is you could go anywhere, right? You could you could pull in any restaurant, any gas station, anywhere. It's not like the semi trucks where you can't pull in or they don't want you there, that type of thing. You know, as soon as you pull into a place, get out and go into the shop and you spend hundreds of dollars there, you come out and you got a sticker on your window saying they're going to tow you. What kind of patronage is that for you, right? Um that they care about home time. Now, if they would make their pay enough to live in the areas they run out of, I'd actually think take them serious. Exactly. You'd have to live, you know, if you really wanted to, you'd have to live 40 or 50 miles out. So it's going to add an extra couple hours of your time. You have to drive all the way to the place. Like for me, right? They got a down in Romulus, Michigan. I could do it. I could just drive down there. Take me an hour, get down there, and then get the stuff, and then maybe get take the packages that I'll deliver all back up towards your house, right? You could do that. Um, our brother-in-law that drove Amazon Prime stuff around, and that's what he would do. Uh, but he didn't He didn't do it for long. You know, he did it for a while. It was a little phase thing. He said, I got tired of that because the, they group so much stuff together, it's just, it becomes stupid. Um, anyway, let's take a look. 835 loads out of light trucking headquarter area. Uh, got a new filter button here. Look nice. Look at that. Makes it nice. Looks nice and good there. Deadhead Miles. Let's go to, you could do company name now. They put a lot more stuff in this sort. Did you see this? Uh, if you haven't uh, checked this out, you can do weight, length, company name, trip rate, trip distance, posted age, all this good stuff. 
uh, rate per mile. That's what we're going to do. So we see the highest stuff first, the short game. And as we see for 1330 bucks, we can go Toledo to Clayton, Ohio, as long as you have Ohio intrastate. But a lot of guys will run it without it because, you know, they'll probably get away with it until they get caught. And you don't want to get caught in Ohio. Trust me, you don't want to get caught in Ohio. The Buckeye is unforgiving, kind of like Pennsylvania uh, and Michigan. 153 miles, 1330 bucks. Excellent load. Some people try to get more money than that. Personally, if it could pick up and deliver the same day, I'd say, boom, just give it to me. Yeah, you could ask for more, but then they'll have another guy on the other phone going, oh, they was just taken. Sometimes it's worth just taking. See, now I got the bid button here. You could hit bid and put a bid in. So that's a nice feature. You can bid on this, uh, this load board as long as the broker puts it in there that they accept bids. Here's Coyote, howling at you at $1,900, 635 mile, Middleville, Michigan, to Wilmington, Ohio, 299 miles, 13,000 pounds. Excellent rates. And I told everybody at the beginning of the year, rates aren't going to go down. They're going to last all the way through the year. People said, oh, no, that's not right. That's not right. Sure. Been doing this about 30 years, you know. I got all kinds of data. And then you got to look at supply and demand. Go try to buy a car today. You know, you got GM shutting down half its factory. That's going to hurt a little bit, right? That's going to hurt a little bit. And you got other manufacturers shut down because of the chip shortage. And why? Because these foreign countries don't want to put people to work and put an extra ship down to make the chips. And they're probably doing it so they can up the price. Because now they got a huge demand and a supply shortage. Hmm. Makes you wonder. If you have a used car sitting around and don't want it no more, now you can get double or triple what it was worth two years ago. If you bought a brand new pickup truck last year, you can get more for it than the sticker price. You take that used truck. Do a Kelly Blue Book, KBB.com. Do my car value. Put it in there. And it'll come up to more, more than what the sticker price was. If you kept the little window sticker, they'll give you more than that window sticker. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Um, got a bunch of emails coming in. It's hard for me to do these shows, you know, during the day because we're just so busy and, and I got so much stuff going on. So, you know, we're going to limit these to like 30 minutes. We got like seven more minutes we'll do. And I'll try to do more during the week, like maybe three a week. Uh, maybe Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, right in the middle. Uh, but we'll see how it goes. You know, we're going to try to do a little more. Maybe do one, one or two a week at night. And, uh, you know, we're bringing the whiteboard sessions back. I'll probably delete a lot of videos off my channel um, that really have no relevance. Uh, some of the older, older stuff. But I'll keep all the whiteboard sessions there because they're always a learning tool. It's the same concept. Uh, the calculations never change. Just time changes, right? That's the only thing. But the core idea behind it all is still the same. 900 bucks. Oh, and we're getting into farming, right? We're going to farm. So let's see what we're we doing. Just another business adventure. $1,500, 517 a mile. Middleville, Michigan to Columbus, Ohio, 290 miles. Our fields are empty now, right? We harvested some wheat. Um, that's all gone, so we just figure out what we're going to do for next year. 3,200 bucks, 620, 620 miles, 516 a mile, Homer, Michigan to Chattanooga, Tennessee, Coyote Logistics. I just got a lot of loads on there today. It must be booming. 3,600 bucks when I go to Milltown, New York, 504 a mile. And, of course, if you look at the rate check, one of these nice features, on one, two, three, load board. And they got the technology, man. This, this is a great load board, innovative. Lauren and the crew does an excellent job. Uh, the 
phone version looks just like the desktop version, which makes it great because you're not learning two different things at once, you know, or it, it's familiar. Uh, and they give you all these tools for that price. They don't nickel and dime you and say, oh, you know what? Um, we're going to charge you, you know, 50 bucks. And then if you want to add in a uh, two week average, um, 90 day average, we're going to charge you another 20 bucks. You want two week average, we're charge you another 20 bucks. Oh, oh, you want this? Another 20 bucks. Before you know it, it's 150 bucks. And they call it their, you know, power, power system, right? And then you end up paying. A ton of money for stuff that you don't you don't even you're not even gonna use. Uh, backhauls, nice feature. You just click on this. You can just click on the backhauls, and it'll take you right to it. Uh, company, you can check out the company. See, it's pre-approved by Thunder Funding, the best funding company in the business, hands down. Uh, what's up, Don Chi? What do you got here? Got to run. Getting ready to have satellite installed in the truck. Well, install it yourself, Don. Save yourself some money. Um, if you don't want to install it, drive on up here. I'll install it for you. Go right in the shop, and we'll, we'll get you hooked up. Um, just bring some caffeine-free soda. I don't drink caffeine anymore. Just some caffeine-free stuff, and uh, we'll, we'll knock it right out for you. Score rating. Um, they're an A, 37 days to pay. Transcard's got them an A, 7, 38 days to pay. Find currently available loads posted by this company only. So now they added this company loads button. So if you click on that, and then you can hit view loads, and then it's going to show you this company's King of Freight, all of their loads that that's posted on the one, two, three load board. How great is that? So if you like Coyote, right? If you like Coyote, you just go look up Coyote stuff. So like Schneider Nationals here. If you click on Schneider National, that shows you their stuff. And then you can see what loads. they got 87 possible loads that Schneider's posted on here. If you go to Coyote, this load here, you just click on the one load. And then they have 2,283 possible loads on the one, two, three load board. So you can just click on them. And then view loads is going to show you all 2,200 and some odd loads. You know? uh, there you go. They're always innovative. They're always adding features. No other load board does that. You're here. You may now begin. Well, you finally woke up, Snorlord. We were talking about the safety guy. We were talking about what does he think about Amazon's uh, their thought process of how they're going to get their little vans, contractors, to be able to hire people um, because there's a driver short. So Amazon gives their thoughts and tells their contracted folk on what to do. So Snorlord, since you missed it, what do you think Amazon told them to do? No one tell them. Uh, Thomas Wilson, do not call him and give him the answer. Absolutely not, Thomas. Well, he's probably still filling up that big old free book. Anyway, what do you think, Snorlord? What do you think? I'll put it up on the screen, right? Because I got it right here. I'm, I'll just click this button right here. And you'll see it. You'll see it. What do you think Amazon's solution is to their driver shortage of delivering their packages? Um, hold on a second. We got a call. Let's mute this. If you or a loved one had taken Zantac, the heartburn medication, and you're experiencing problems, please pull over and call this number because we want to sue. I, I hate those phone calls. Anyway, um, what do you think it is, Snorlord? Well, he's not going to answer. He's Googling it. Well, here it is, Snorlord. Um, Amazon's uh, solution to delivery driver shortage is recruit pot smokers. Recruit pot smokers. Uh, doing so can boost the number of job applicants by as much as 400%. Um, they 
There you go. What do you think of that? No, not their delivery guys aren't going to Thomas. Um, they think they're going to go, but that's not going to work. See, people... People don't understand that. There's no autonomous driving going to happen in the United States because the, the road systems aren't even made for it. And frankly, they're not going to put the money into the road systems to make it that way because as soon as one autonomous vehicle crashes and kills people, it's over. Um, and there'll probably be a lot of crashes because we all know how those systems work, right? I mean, we all know that, you know, you go into an overpass and it sees a shadow and the damn thing slams on its brakes. And if it's in the icy weather, you're jackknifed. And that's why we got all those jackknifes in the middle of winters now. Because these guys guys don't take it up. They want to stay on cruise control, which is stupid. And the damn thing slams on their brakes. Next thing you know, they're jackknifed in the ditches. Remember two or three years ago when all this stuff came out? This crash mitigation system. And you had like 700 jackknifes in the middle of the thing in Pennsylvania where else. Why? Because the system doesn't work. Why? It doesn't work. Yes, we did say pot smoke. Here's the article. I mean, I'll blow it right up for you. Look, we'll blow it right up and stick it right in your face. There you go. Amazon solution delivery driver shortages recruit pot smokers. And then they go down here and they say, um, the company is advising its delivery partners, the mom and pops that operate the ubiquitous blue Amazon vans, to permanently advertise that they don't drug screen applicants for marijuana use, according to correspondence reviewed by Bloomberg interview with a four business owner and then the one business owner says um, one delivery partner who stopped screening up and said Amazon's this says marijuana was the prevailing reason that people failed drug tests now that she's only testing for drugs like opiates and amphetamines more drivers pass more drivers pass but what this lady does understand is she doesn't understand the legality of what she's going to do to her business because as soon as one of those guys um, takes out a family, she's not in business. I'll guarantee you that. And she'll probably lose her house and everything else. And then she'll, you know, she'll go after Amazon. And Amazon will be sued. Of course, they'll be sued by the other people. But, you know, when you're multi-billions of dollars, it's not going to matter. Because they just buy their way out of it. Why? Because they got cash to burn, right? Well, yeah, I didn't, I didn't. I didn't hold back. I, I, I did say that. Snow Lord, it says. Pot smokers right here in this ad. Can you believe it? Um, what's your thoughts on that? What's your thought? Anybody have thoughts on that? You know, people say it's legal. It's not legal, folks. It's not. It's not federally legal. Yes, these states come up with their own little rules and regulations and their little legality and say it's legal, but really it's not legal. Um, Federal-wise, it's not. Uh, just more evidence that common sense is gone. It is. You know why? It's not like alcohol. See, people argue about it, but it's not like alcohol. Alcohol can be out of your system in eight hours. Marijuana is not. It's not. So anyway. And of course, you know, when you look at the their thing, I mean, you're making 20 bucks an hour uh, home for dinner or contract drivers who are $17 an hour and often work late into the night and keep uh, with the demand. So what's that going to mean? Is mean they're not regulated. They're working way more hours than what they should driving those vans. And now you're going to add in, you know, stay awake, do, you know, hit a few. Now, look, look, if you buy stock, you could be a millionaire in less than a year. You know why? Go buy all your money. Put all your money into Taco Bell. Because they're open all night long. And if they're going to have a bunch, of, a bunch of pot smokers out there, they're going to get the munchies. And you're going to see a bunch of Amazon fans in the drive throughs of Taco Bell. <laughs> so I'm going to go buy a... A boatload of stock in Taco Bell. <laughs> and the, the, the burritos and the quesadillas are going to make you rich. <laughs> oh, my Lord. What's the, what's, what's the country coming to? We're, we're not even going to go there, right? We're not going to go there. We're not getting political on this panel, but we're not going there. 
Um, hello, GNC. So lots of good, lots of good money out there. A little soft in the south for Van, but still good. Um, we could look at a, a couple more searches just to look. Let's go to Carlsbad, California, home of Thunder Funding. And let's just look at uh, rate per mile. Let's look at the little L.A. basin stuff. 600, 600, 600, 450, 800 for 60 miles. 1250 for 98 miles. Well, this is PA, PA. That didn't work out. That's Carlisle, PA. I'm sorry. I thought I said California. I thought I looked at Carlsbad. My eyesight. Put my glasses on. Where'd they go? Right here. I read it wrong. If Amazon paid a good rate, uh, they had good retention, they wouldn't have to get desperate. That's right. Blue Parrot is good. Blue Parrot doesn't make eyeglasses, do they? Oh, he's talking to Rate Shaker Classic right here. Um, so if you're in PA, of course, PA always has these great short runs on the East Coast. Always. Now, let me, let me sharpen my eyesight. So I can find Carlsbad, California in here. And if, if I don't find it in here, then I'll have to put my glasses on. But there it is. I'm not, I'm not that old yet. I'm getting there. Uh, we'll look at um, rate per mile in this one so we can see the L.A. base. And now we got a San Bernardino, San Bernardino, all this good stuff. 800 bucks, 23 miles. Ontario, California, San Bernardino. 800 bucks. It could take you all day, but who cares? You're not burning no fuel. Um, and if you could do two of those in a day, it's great money for only doing about 60 miles, 1600 bucks, 480 USA truck, USA truck. Um, be nice if you paid us our money, just saying, be nice. Um, $663 chop tank, 1894, 35 miles. What up, Rich Taco? What's going on? Uh, what would you invest in starting out in the stock market? Well, John, I, I do buy some crypto stuff, but if you're in the stock market, um, I'm, I invest in a lot of the oil tankers. NAT is one of them. They just had a huge drop. They were like three sixty a share. Just about a month or a half ago, they went down to two dollars and twenty cents a share. That's a good in. It's a good in. I think they're up to two sixty or so today. Here, let me let me check and see where we're at today. Um, I like that stock. Nordic Tank Lines is what it's called. Uh, let me bring it up here. See what they're doing today. Ah, <sighs> poor Portland was only up one uh, percent today. Uh, so Nordic Tank Lines is up another five and a half cents to two sixty. So they're uh, they come up almost uh, fifty cents off of their low that they went down to. Um, they're going back to three dollars. They're going to go back to three dollars. Whether they make it back to three sixty before the end of the year, that all depends. But they're definitely going to be going back to three dollars. That's my opinion anyway, because I've been following these guys for ten years or so. Um, so that and well, I can tell you what I have. I mean, uh, let me see. Let me see what I got here. Let me see what I got. Options. I'm playing NAT, AMC, and SNDL. SNDL is a cannabis stock. I got LNW, Agen, PSEC, CBay, CPRX, WRAP, HL, SPPI, OPK. N-A-T-A-R-L-O, C-L-V-S, Siri, uh, V-X-T-X, E-T-C, B-T-C, Doge, L-T-C. So that's that's all the stuff I'm in um, at the moment. Um, I love my Plantronics Voyager, but it doesn't go over the ear. It sits and starts hurting. Well, you got a choice, right? You can hit yourself in the ear and get a bigger ear or um, buy a blue parrot that's caveman 
Trucker's advice. What's up? Welcome back, a.k.a. the Food Mooch. Uh, thank you, Snorlord. There you go. So what I do follow, now this is what I'm looking at getting into if you want to know more stock. Okay, so um, Cash for Maritime, of course, GameStop, uh, Naked Brands, Two Harbors, um, Zometica, and then I'm looking at the ACB, AT&T, of course, and then Pfizer. I had some that got rid of my Pfizer. Um, Tesla, Apple, Moderna, which Moderna's way up, right? 400. <clears throat> Moderna's just, it's just soaring. $418. It was back 100 bucks not too long ago, right? So you could have four times your money. Yeah, hit the hammer. Yeah, hit, hit the thumbs up button, right? Little Viking Coach. LBC, uh, Facebook, Microsoft, Disney, GoPro, Starbucks, Ford, Alibaba, Bank of America, and General Electric. Um, that's the stuff I follow. All right. So let's rock and roll down here and take a look at some other stuff. 600 bucks, 952 a mile, 63 miles stored freight. Coyote. 1740, 716 a mile, 243 miles, and of course, SRAM Logistics just posted three minutes ago. 2200 bucks. I've had two Voiders, they don't last and are uncomfortable. I now have a new Blue Parrot 450. Um, do you have a discount code, uh, Caveman Trucker, that you want to share with everybody? You got to be getting a discount. And if you need a cooker, um, Road Pro, I think, right? Solar Road Pro. Jeff, Jeff, are you glad you made the move from Schneider to fleet owner? And what would be different if you can do it over again? I would have done, I should have done this 20 years ago. But you get complacent and, you know, things like that. And other things happen. So uh, there you go. And is this easy to do? No, it's not easy. Uh, do people circumvent the system and try to? Of course they do. And we're not going to bring out names and all that stuff because we don't do that. Um, so, you you got to, see, here's the thing. you got to spend the money. you got to spend the money to do it right. You just have to. You can't take shortcuts. A lot of people take shortcuts. And you take shortcuts, it'll bite you in the butt, right? What's up, Bob? Cat? What's happening? So this is what's going on here uh, out of Thunder Funding Country. And, you know, we, we could put uh, Thunder stuff up on there, on the screen. Once I find the right one. Because I got different ones. Um, and of course, if you want to use Trucking Office software, before we go, we'll give Trucking Office a plug. Great software for uh, the guys wanting to keep track of uh, what they do. BRN 2018, there it is. Um, they're always trying to uh, better their program, also. Well, Alan the, and the guys over there. Um, We could throw a Snow Lord's thing up on there. And then if you want to, uh, oh, that's not what it is. We get that one off there. Thunder funding. There it is at the top. Scrolling. We can move it down there. And there you go. The trucking office one, that's, I love that software. You know, for like the owner operator. It has one, you know, one truck, a couple trucks, if they're leased on, because one, it is cloud-based. You can just do it on your phone. 
And you come to find out that if a guy's sitting there at the dock and can just do it on his phone or his little tablet compared to software that's on a computer, they're more likely to keep track of their business a lot better than going, okay, when I get home, I'm going to put that stuff in there. And then when they get home, they don't put it in there. And then at the end of the year, they got a shoebox full of stuff that they're trying to, you know, rush around for tax time. Um, to where that, you just go print out profit loss statement, and hand it to your accountant, if you use an accountant, and boom, you're done. Two seconds. Uh, plus, you can know where you're at and stand at all different times of the day, right? Or year. I got to get going because I got all kinds of stuff that just come flying in here. You got to get these guys going, send their stuff out there. Victorville, California, Tulsa, Arizona, 2200 bucks, 601 a mile, 366 miles. Now, unless Norlord would, you know, get on there and type it in, then I could just keep on doing YouTube. But 5300 bucks. So if you want to see, you know, like you got most speed in this updates automatically because you see no longer available. Boom, boom, there it is. And if you, uh, you know, want to see the, the big numbers, and that's what some people just show, you know, hey, you know, I just want to see the big numbers. Woo, and there it is, nine grand, California to PA, 8,800 to Maryland, 8,645 to Jersey, 8,000 to Massachusetts. So if you want to head over there, Sanford, Florida, 7,400, get on over there. Um, micro strategy stock, MSTR, that's right. Get some micro strategy. Uh, Snow Lord, no longer a shoebox trucker. Says LVC. All right. Thanks for watching. We'll probably do this again tomorrow. The 52 week spread at MSTR is huge. Huge, he says. Huge. Um, do, 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 do. Okay, let's take a look at the micro strategy. Here it is. 685.48 minus 26.78 day. Jump in there by yourself, you know, 100 shares or so and capitalize on that. So, Little Viking Coach is into the high dollar stuff. There it is. Micro Strategy Incorporated. 2426. It is flying. Flying. You see it changing, right? You'll see it changing. It, it, it takes big jumps. Big jumps. Look at the five day. Here's your chart. What's up? Word up, OTJB. What's happening? We're about right in this thing. You know, we do. We, I said 30 minutes, we're at 49. We're doing a marathon. 49, 50, we're out of here. Um, out of here. 1732. So just as we were sitting here watching it, $7 swing, man. $7 swing. 100 shares, you can make $700 in a couple of minutes. Bam, get out. Go out and eat and, and take a vacation. Um, there you go. Thanks for watching. James is probably going to. He's probably going to fire up a video because he says it's unacceptable. So um, he's probably closing his pool. He's probably out there closing his pool. Maybe. Um, so we'll see y'all later. We have to go. We've got things to do.